And there was a right knee connecting for Terensky. In fact, two of them. Yeah, that was his best strike in this fight. Just constantly moving back, trying to... Let's go. Here we go. And straight into the fire goes Morrison, who eats a low blow right out of the bat. He's really trying to get down for that light heavyweight division, which is going to be a big threat and powerhouse in. You can see Terensky ready with that right knee as Morosano comes in. Is that a knockdown? No, it's a slip. Terensky's knees are very dangerous. That's the shots he needs against that come forward style of Morosano. Morosano. The cheering, the chanting of his name, it got him more aggressive, and he was scared that he was going to gas out. Felt he overexerted himself a little bit. Morosano said he's not a big fan of Terensky's style. Feels he, he holds too much. He's a little too technical. But right now, it's Morosano who's landing most of the punches. I don't think Morosano will like Got to stay outside. He's got to keep up with those knees and keep moving. Try to tire out Morosano. Like Morosano at bay. Well, it starts with your footwork and your movement. That's step one. Step two, you got to start using straight, long Pondervalev. That would be an amazing fight. Ooh! Oh, oh, oh. There's yeah. those loop Chance of Kataline by the Romanians here tonight. Nice uppercut, though, by Terinsky. Yep, being the taller fighter, that's a beautiful shot to throw. Another. Seems like he's not really fighting his game plan right now either, getting caught up in the emotions. No, he could mix it up really well. He's a good counterfighter, but he's not scared to come forward and exchange. So there you have it, round one. And I'm looking, who'd you give round one to, Joe? Well, I'm giving it to Marsano with that forward pressure. Showing a little bit more dominance coming forward. We saw Turinsky on the canvas a few times from that power shot. They didn't land and do damage, but it's just showing dominance in the fight. Careful keeping his mouth open. Nice Why do you set. say that? Well, with the mouth open, he's not really tightening his jaw. With his jaw loose like that, you clip it, there's more of a chance for you to go down. The way Morsan has been a little more patient. He gets inside and then tries to measure him out a little bit. I like that he's kicking a little bit more too, mixing up those low kicks. Face and keep throwing it. He's landed a good one to the body, now go to the head with it. Morsanu from the southpaw position, caught him with a left hand. Turinsky is just so tough to be able to take those shots. You see the sweat fly off, but it doesn't seem to be phasing him. And right hand connects for Turinsky. We sit with... Ten seconds to go here. Turinsky with a nice straight right. There's a low kick for Morisanu. And another... He throws that power combination. So he needs to set it up and be a little bit more strategic with his energy because Turinsky started doing well in that second round. Could be one round apiece. Another lunging right hand that does not find its mark for Morisanu. Morisanu really relies on that one punch power. We're a minute 45 rather here in round three and that left hand connects but Turinsky... Does Morisano still have the energy to get that knockout? Both men swinging wildly. I like that at least Morisano threw more than a single. He threw three punches in a row there. Turinsky, I'd be throwing that right kick all day. Half a minute. Let's see if Morsano lets his hands go. And literally, Terinsky holding on there until the final bell. Not what this crowd wants. Judge Brian Pacillo scores the bout 30-27, Morisano. Judge Rom Hecko scores the bout 29-28, Terinsky. And Judge Calvin Caldwell scores the bout 30-27,
for your winner by split decision, Mikhail Terinsky.